Hey everybody, it's Ryan Jones with Gaiism, joined as always by Chris Spaggs, and we are here to introduce you to your new Gaiism speed round host. You've met the candidates, you met our finalists, we read many of your comments and then completely disregarded them, didn't really come into effect in our decision-making process at all, because we don't really care what you think. Uh, that being said, uh, we had a few criteria for exactly who we wanted, and those were things like beauty, wit, uh, a lack of proclivity for throwing up on technological uh, pieces of equipment. And so all of that went into our final decision. We chose the girl that we did uh, because we felt she had the best things of what we were looking for. She's cute, she's funny, she's smart, and she's more of a guy's girl than you'd realize. She's from West Virginia, um, she drinks whiskey, and she does all the things that we would expect from a guy's and speedrun host. Yes, so without further ado, let's bring her out. And her first challenge is actually going to be getting into this chair here, because I'm not moving. Uh, this is Chet Siegel, your new host. Hooray! Yay, Chet! Here this we is go. a challenge. Chet, Chet, let's Chet, see. Chet, Chet. I'm Chet. just straddling the just table. Lean on in here, it's tight Hi. quarters. Uh, so, Chet. How do you feel? Are you excited? Are you nervous? What are your thoughts going into this? I'm nervous. I am excited. I'm over caffeinated and I'm sweating. Excellent. Just out of curiosity, mm -hmm. where are you, what were you doing before you got hired by the prestigious guyism speed round? Like for money? Yeah. Um, I was teaching improv comedy to adults and I also uh, worked at a children's camp teaching children how to cook and like expand their palates at like a food camp. So you are abandoning those mm -hmm. little ankle biters and yeah. the wannabe uh, SNL cast members yes. to do the guys in speed round. Yes. All right. Yes. Well, I think let's uh, kick it off to her. And uh, ladies and gentlemen, Chet Siegel with your guys in speed round. It's Tuesday, July 9th. Children get really cheap waxes and Hitler is selling chicken in Thailand. All of this and more in today's Gaiism speed round. A New York City waxing salon is offering discounts for clients under 17 years old. Aw, now mommy can save baby's very first widow pube. A 4th of July parade in Hope Mills, North Carolina included a white History Month float. This float consisted of a John Deere tractor, a Confederate flag, a little wagon full of watermelons, and a sign that said, Hug White People. Hug White People? Is that how you celebrate Black History Month, Hope Mills? You just run around and you hug black people? It's your style. In an attempt to ban slot machines and internet cafes in Florida, a very poorly worded bill accidentally ended up banning all computers and smartphones. Now your grandma is really never going to learn how to use Skype. Venezuela and Bolivia have both offered political asylum for NSA whistleblower Edward Snowden. But he still hasn't decided where he's going to go yet because he's waiting to hear back from Nicaragua and UPenn. Fingers crossed for the fat envelope! An Asiana Airlines flight crashed into the San Francisco airport on Saturday, severing the aircraft's tail upon impact. Unfortunately, the most traumatic experience for the passengers was seeing a heavily bearded Matthew Fox running around on the tarmac screaming, We have to go back! The Center for Investigative Reporting found that nearly 150 women were sterilized in California prisons without state approval. Christina Cordero, a pregnant inmate, said that she felt pressured by her OBGYN to get a tubal ligation after her delivery. She said, he made me feel like a bad mother if I didn't do it. No, Christina, you're popping out your fifth kid in prison while your other kids run around without any place to hang up their finger paintings. You're already a bad mom. KFC is considering suing a chicken restaurant in Thailand called Hitler for, get this, copyright infringement. Apparently, Hitler the restaurant is superimposing the Fuhrer's face onto Colonel Sanders' body. You know, I'm not so sure that they're selling chicken because Hitler is not famous for putting chicken into ovens. And that's it for today's Guys and Speed Round. If you liked what you saw, click the like button below, share it with your friends, and subscribe to our channel. I'll be back tomorrow with more headlines that you need to know.